I'm Alex Trebek, here to tell you about the Colonial Pen Program. If you're age 50 to 85 and looking to buy life insurance on a fixed budget, remember the three Ps. The three Ps? What are the three Ps? The three Ps of life insurance on a fixed budget are price, price, and price. A price you can afford, a price that can't increase, and a price that fits your budget. I'm 65 and take medications. What's my price? You can get coverage for $9.95 a month. I just turned 80. What's my price? $9.95 a month for you, too. Call now about the number one most popular whole life insurance plan. Available through the Colonial Pen Program. No medical exam. No health questions. Your acceptance is guaranteed. So call now for free information. Call 1-800-480-3322 for free information and a free gift. That's 1-800-480-3322. Call now. Here's another cleaning tip from Mr. Clean. Cleaning tough bathroom and kitchen messes with sprays and wipes can be a struggle. There's an easier way. Try Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. Just wet, squeeze, and erase tough messes like bathtub soap scum and caked on grease from oven doors. Now Mr. Clean Magic Eraser comes in disposable sheets. They're perfect for icky messes on stovetops, in microwaves, and all over the house. For an amazing clean, try Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and Mr. Clean Magic Eraser sheets. When severe weather strikes, Storm Track 7 hits the road, keeping you safe, alerting you first. It's Washington's early warning weather unit. Storm Track 7, powered by Stormwatch 7. Presented by FH Fur, plumbing, heating, and electrical. California is making it easier for truck drivers to enjoy a warm meal. Governor Gavin Newsom signed an executive order allowing food trucks to operate at rest areas. This is welcome news because the size of truck rigs prevent drivers from going through drive throughs or parking curbside to run in and grab a takeout meal. Truckers are the heroes helping deliver essential goods and medical supplies. When he is not working as an ER doctor, a Texas man is riding out the pandemic in his children's treehouse. In order to keep his family from potentially getting sick, Dr. Jason Barnes is camped out in the backyard. But it's not as though he's roughing it. He has all the food he'd have in the house as well as air conditioning. It takes a little getting used to sleeping on a, on a bunk bed uh, uh, made out of, out of cedar wood. As much as we miss him terribly being in the house and being able to, you know, hug him and be with him daily. Well, Barnes often shouts down to his kids if he needs something, and sometimes they listen, but other times he just walks up to the kitchen window to get something to eat. Today is the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and this morning, Veronica Johnson talked to a NASA scientist on how the space agency is making the connection to Earth Day. One of the things that... Um that uh, NASA has done is allowed us all to see the Earth from space. Um, and that has been an extraordinary uh, revelation for uh, people to see, you know, the, um, the blue marble floating in the black, uh, the blackness of space and to realize how much all of us are together. And as you know, many events for Earth Day are online right now. And Steve, you can simply celebrate by stepping outside for a bit because today's going to be a pretty decent day. And from where I sit, there's not a cloud in the sky. Yeah, it is so, so pretty out there. As we uh, move through our midday, we're going to see lots of sunshine, so take advantage of it now. And as we head over toward Georgetown Harbor, this is our camera that's atop the Mandarin. You can see folks social distancing and, of course, getting a little bit of fresh air. Out in Bluemont, how pretty is that? Crystal clear blue skies right now, nice and green, but tree pollen now in the high category for those of you who suffer from tree allergies. Bellhaven Country Club in Alexandria looking across the river toward Oxon Hill and National Harbor, cloud free. Temperature wise, my goodness, it's chilly out there. We're only in the upper 40s and lower 50s, well below average we'd normally see for now late April. 
Wind gusts upwards of 20 to almost 30 miles per hour. Those winds are going to slowly ease later on today around sunset, and then we are going to look for clouds to increase later on tonight. But we're cloud free right now on Stormwatch 7 satellite and radar. If you're going to grab lunch to go, pre ordering ahead, looking at temperatures that will only be in the 50s by 2 o'clock this afternoon. The rush hour commute, and it's uh, weird to say rush hour because we really don't have one anymore, looking at temperatures that are going to slowly fall through the 50s, and we'll see 7 p.m. temperatures just around 57 degrees. Now for tonight after midnight clouds are going to begin to increase all part of our next wet weather maker. Temperatures will be in the 30s to lower to middle 40s come early tomorrow morning and we should start the day off dry. However, if you are going to be out and about come mid morning tomorrow, wet weather is on the way and we will see daytime highs that will eventually make it to around 60. Now here's your hour by hour look at our future cast from Stormwatch 7. 9 o'clock we're still dry inside and around the Beltway. Farther off toward the west of us, I-81 corridor during the noon time hour, moving into Loudoun and Prince William County, Fauquier County, and then wet weather will overspread.